this question sounds way worse than it is. Um, my big piece of advice is if they're ever talking about trigonometry and you've got two triangles, especially if they use this word similar, we don't really need to think about two triangles. The, if they're similar, then the sides are going to correspond in a way that we can just kind of do the trigonometry with the one triangle and it'll, it'll work out for both. So let me show you what I mean here. I would definitely try to draw triangle RST. Um, we do, if we want to follow the, the, the rightness of the triangle, the longest side is going to be that hypotenuse, so that's going to be the 584. So we can do um, T and R to give us that. And then we can fill in the other two, so this means this is S, and this is going to be 384, and this is going to be 440. So this is just me copying what I'm told in the top and putting it on a triangle, giving myself some idea of what's going on. From here, we might want to also label these points with the U, the V, and the W, right? So they tell us S corresponds to V, so I'm going to put that there. Uh, T corresponds to U, or W, so that's here, and then that means this must be U, okay? So I'm not drawing a second triangle because it really doesn't matter. The way that um, trigonometry works is no matter how big or small the triangle is, if they're similar, the overall ratio is going to be the same. And that's why sometimes you might hear the things like sine, cosine, and tangent called trigonometric ratios. Ratio being the important word, right? They're fractions. And whether the triangle is really big or really small, the fraction is going to reduce to the exact same thing. So we can use the values that they gave us here. They want us to get the tan of W. We should probably write down that tangent is... Um, if we do so, katoa, right, the tangent is the opposite side over the adjacent. So where's W? That's up here. Opposite means we go across. So let's even do this. Tan of W is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So tan of W, the opposite is the 440, and the adjacent is the one that's right next to it. So not the hypotenuse, right? The hypotenuse is here, and... That's always the side that is opposite the 90 degree angle. So that one is very special. The other two are going to change depending on where we are. But the hypotenuse is always opposite the 90 degree angle. So in, the, in this case, the adjacent side is the 384. Now that is not an answer, but that's okay. We don't need to bother reducing the, the, the fraction. The calculator is going to do that for us. Let's just do 440 divided by 384 in our calculator. It's a messy number. But again, that's okay. The calculator can deal with it. So it's 11, or sorry, 1.15, uh, let's just do 8, we'll round there, 1.158. So now the other answer choices are also fractions. So let's just see if we can find one that's the same. There are buttons that do this in the calculator, but I find it kind of tedious on the scientific calculator. So I'm just going to do uh, the long way, 48 divided by 73. Well, that's not going to work because that's going to be less than 1, 0 0.66, no good. Same thing with choice B, but we'll do it anyway. 55 divided by 73 is 0 0.75, that's no good. Choice C, 48 divided by 55, this is also going to be less than 1, so that's no good. And that leaves us with D, 55 divided by 48, which is 1.15. It's not quite the same which is kind of strange to me, 55 divided by 48, but um, perhaps I did something wrong? Hmm, I don't know. doesn't bother me enough to worry about it, so I might have done something wrong there because I got slightly different decimals with this one, but it's okay. Choice D is the answer because it's the only one that's even over 1. It's all that's left, and hopefully now you have a little bit better understanding of how trigonometry works. If we have two triangles that are similar, we can kind of treat them as the same because it's really about uh, how the sides compare and with a fraction, it's always going to reduce to what we want.